holiday rental and vacation rental owners or if you're doing Airbnb arbitrage, you guys are leaving thousands of pounds in the table. So tip number one, update your listing based on your client booking behavior. It depends on your location. You can team up with different other companies. Holiday rental and vacation rental owners, or if you're doing Airbnb arbitrage, you guys are leaving thousands of pounds in the table or you effectively are giving away to your competitors. So guys, if you're new to my channel, uh, it's Piers from growyourbnb.com. Now we've worked with over 2,500 properties all over the world and in today's video, I really wanna talk about, just look, we'll screen share. I want you to go through everything that I will physically do in my account today. I want you to take that into your account, start implementing it. And when you get results, I want to make sure that we celebrate. So make sure you comment down below how excited you know you will be, hopefully to achieve the results after you've made the change. And secondly, if you've achieved any great results, make sure you share that. So before we go into that, look, I've made some amazing changes in, in clients' account over the last years and we've worked, I, might, I, I try and think about some of the clients that we've worked with, which is more, much more like holiday rental and vacation rental. Um, specifically reminds me of a, a company called Sydney Dreams in um, Bondi Beach in Australia. And you know, we're very, very fortunate to work with some incredible property with James. and. You know, in this video, there were certain things that we realized that you know, a lot of operators and Airbnb management companies don't understand. So firstly, let me share my screen. And secondly, I want you to implement each tips I'm gonna give you in this video as we speak. So please make sure you pause it, do it, come back, watch it again. And let's make sure by the end of this video, you have something that's gonna help you increase your occupancy rate. As a result of that, make more money. So tip number one, update your listing based on your client booking behavior. So let's get into your Airbnb account now um, and let's go through some bits together. So firstly, you can see uh, listing title. Now, I've seen people going into Airbnbs, launching properties, three years later, they haven't touched their listing title. Obviously, recent world, there's more people doing it, but you can see here, if you're, you know, if you've got a property in Maldives, I want the title could be best holiday let property in Maldives. So imagine if you've got an amazing weekend bookings, but you don't really attract a lot of weekdays booking. What you can do is start being creative on your guest behavior. And like I said, you as well as your calendar. So firstly, if you've got weekdays gap, I would definitely understand and write a title based on your weekdays client. So i.e. firstly, I could put maybe 5% off. I could write, be very specific if you want to try and attract a three night stay client. So I'd say three nights. So 5% off three nights now aut automatically for me, that's much more attractive. If you're doing a three nights minimum stay on a weekdays um, and you're given 5% off, that's a unique way to write it. Secondly, you could write, you know, your location, Maldives, because a lot of time, remember, you know, your guest behavior, they're searching, they might not exactly know where your location is. So put your town or you might be with clear water beach, right? Because you've got the best blue sky or blue beach. I'll just put here blue beach. Uh, and you can say if you've got private access to to beach, just put private beach. So now you can see how I put a title based on what I'm trying to achieve. Three nights minimum stay is 5% off. I put the location, I put what kind of beach it is and they've got private access. Secondly, on the listing description, which is where the fun begins, remember we're trying to adapt to your calendar. So you've got Monday to Friday gap. So I put special rates, Monday 5% off, put Monday to Friday week days stay. So what I've done now is I've made it much more adapted to my calendar. Um, I'm trying to attract Monday to Friday bookings because I've got the weekend booked. I can then try and sell the exact feature, private access to the beach. 
I could then, you can think about your guest behavior. I would then say maybe perfect for wedding, wedding guests, because it could be a perfect photo places, right? So you can start thinking about different way you're trying to sell that property. It could be like saying perfect for your photo shoot. You can see how now I'm adapting to the calendar and trying to make people understand, A, you've got you know Monday to Friday gap, you're trying to understand who your guests are. If somebody's looking for a photo shoot, they're more likely to do in weekdays because they probably have much more of a budget and it's business. Um, if it's wedding clients and they're there for holiday, then they can, and, you know, could make it very simple and say perfect for couples and holiday maker. Right. So you can imagine here, the first thing is writing, you know, titles, writing something that's going to be much more adaptable to your property as well as your calendar. Tip number two, offer special packages and deals. Now, you can see early on tip number one, I used the word 5% off. Right now, that was only on Airbnb. I mean, you know, you might be operating in Verbo, Booking.com, Expedia, Hotels.com, obviously Airbnbs also even your direct booking platform now you need to understand that you need to and just show people that you've got special packaging going on um special deals going on and eventually you want to offer them something that's going to be really attractive for them to come and stay with you now if you look at our industry in general with holiday um destinations and vacation rental properties people in you know, peak season, they're, they're more likely to get booked all the time anyway. But to be able to have strategies in certain ways to offer different deals, you could, you know, again, it depends on your location, you can team up with different other companies and offer people maybe 50 pan off voucher or $50 voucher on, you know, a certain restaurant, if they book with you for three nights minimum state. So if you do something that's going to be unique, and again, it all depends on the location and the type of service you're offering, it's quite unique but try and take that implementation across the board doesn't matter if it's on OTA doesn't doesn't matter if it's on your direct booking website or the next point I'm going to cover is regarding your social medias so tip number three is utilizing social media platform and advertising to attract you those holiday makers those short-term bookings but high nightly rates so one of the things I want to suggest and this is why I said I don't want to give you the standard way of doing things I want to try and share as much as I can potentially in this video and the third thing I want to show you is look if you look at my screen now I'm looking at let's say Airbnb in Brighton right so if I type in Airbnb Brighton, let's say, if I was going to go and stay in a, you know, in an Airbnb in Brighton, I'm going to type in Airbnb Brighton in my search on Instagram. Now, you can see here, I haven't typed in a brand or a company name. What I've done is I've typed in Airbnb and your location. So you, it doesn't matter where you are in the world. That first person here, which how they've actually created the Airbnb, they've actually put in the word best Airbnb Brighton. Now, if I open this, it could it could be potentially any business, right? But wow, you can see how incredible this actual business looks. So it's a sea view. You can see that they've got hot tub. Um, they've got three thousand followers, and effectively, you can see they're promoting or reposting everything that their customer doing. Now, you can see like not all the time everyone's got a property like this, but if you're on a holiday destination, you can be creative around what you can post, how you can post. But more importantly, I think what I want to talk about here was I didn't type in this brand name. It wasn't Seaview, Penthouse, stuff like that. All I did was I actually posted or wrote down Airbnb and the company uh, and the location. So what I want you to do is go back and actually change your title on or username on Instagram and even on Facebook and actually put the word best underscore Airbnb underscore and your location because you're more likely to be found when people type in your Airbnb and your location. So small tip but works really fine. Um, and do you know what? You are gonna be found um, completely different way from you know organic searches and stuff and as a result of that somebody look you can just put in your Airbnb link um, and you're going to drive more traffic or you can just go here and put your direct booking links. So tip number four I want to talk about how to respond quickly and effectively 
for those bookings. One of the things I've seen with operators all over the world, and you know, I've probably consulted over 300 plus operators, and sitting down today, and one, I look at their account, I look at their Airbnb, obviously they've got a certain type of direct booking system, you're probably sitting down and going, well, Piers, I already have an automation through my channel manager, right? But what I am finding right now is not only people do not respond quickly, and even if you do and you're operating a business that, you know, side to your daily life, it's also about how you communicate with your guest. Because, you know, if a booking lands, I've seen people going, yes, we are available, that's the date, that's the calendar, that's the prize, yeah, please book. A lot of time, if you have a certain way you can actually educate your client around what they're looking for, right? And you know, every single inquiry is if you've got a template going, hey, thanks for your inquiry with da da da, your brand name. Um, you know, we look forward to hosting you, but before we do that, can I please get, you know, certain information? Can you please confirm the amount of guests? Look, if you're hot in a location and you don't want people, your neighbors to be worried and don't want parties in your location, you're having this conversation can you confirm x amount of people are coming in can you let us know what is your reason for stay you know are they looking because if you've got more properties you can then say oh my god this person's booked us for this you know there's a concept for someone in that place and they they automatically you can increase your price for your other properties so they're the things you should be asking your clients and at the end saying you know thanks for um Thanks for your inquiry. We we'll look forward to hosting you and we will we'll look forward to booking you. And as a result of that, you can see how not only you're responding it quickly, but you've got a method to respond. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. A lot of time people talk about increasing occupancy rate by, you know, giving some kind of deals only or looking at the pricing. I've gone through some more information based on you know, your calendar firstly and how to adapt to your calendar and create listing. We've talked about giving some offers, you know, teaming up with different companies and trying to make it more, more different. We've talked about your social media. I've given you a tip that you can go and implement that straight away. And last but not the least, also a method of communication, which is gonna help you convert a lot better with your guests. So guys, I hope you enjoyed another Grow Your BNB video. Please make sure you hit that like, subscribe and share, and we'll be back with another video soon.